to break free of the spirit that is there in Caiaphas that wanted to kill Jesus. Do you believe because John is they part say of he the blasphemed Bible? Because they Richard, said you're doing it again. You've been Jesus preaching for five minutes now. He was the son of God. Okay. The Caiaphas said, I know, I know that John this is blasphemy. Richard, look here. Look Have here. he heard this blasphemy? <laughs> And I don't answer, think you want to listen to our dialogue. To die. That's why they killed Jesus. Okay, so what was the blasphemy? Because he said he was the son of God. Let's see if you understood the passage. Why do the Muslims come here and row with Christians? Because we say Jesus is the son of God. It's the same spirit that killed Jesus 2,000 years ago. He's right here. Okay, the Richard. Speaker's corner. Richard, are you, you going to have a dialogue or not? Attack okay. the Bible. Are you, you, you spoke for five minutes. Will you yeah. give me the same okay, courtesy? Yeah. I like you, Hashim. Will you give me the same courtesy? Will, yes. Without interrupting for five minutes. Yes? By the way, Richard, look here. I, I, are you going to listen to him now? Yeah, and wake up the dead Muslims. <laughs> okay, so the dead Muslims that you're talking about, yes? I don't know who they are because we are live here. Okay, so I don't know who you're talking about. Secondly, if you believe what, what Kaifa said that, what part of Jesus' statement was blasphemy? Let's see if you understood that. Thou hast said. What? And when he talks about Jesus as the Son of Man, coming with the clouds yeah. and that answers your how first question. How is that blasphemy? How could Jesus submit himself to God when he's God? Because when he was on Richard, earth, Richard, how is that blasphemy? Son of man. Richard. It was only now he's been exalted to heaven. He is the son of See, God. See, you're not having a dialogue. And you're having a preaching. In the clouds. Why are you going to preaching more? There's not the church. There's a crowd here. Doesn't matter. No, I don't preach. I'm talking church. to you. The church kicked me out. I'm not surprised. That's why I come here to preach. But honestly, I'm not surprised. They do you know you why out. they kicked me out? Because you are. Because I don't accept the Trinity. Actually, you do. No, I don't. Do you not did he not say Jesus was divine? Yes, but that's not the Trinity. So what is the Trinity? The Trinity says three distinct persons, which is three gods. No, no, no. Do you not believe there are three distinct persons? No. So you're saying the Father is exactly the same person as Jesus? Jesus is a person. He is a soul in a body. He's a human soul in a human body. Can you please you're answer the question? You're is Jesus person. distinct person or the same person as the Father? The Father is not a person. The Father is the eternal spirit. A person is a soul inhabiting a body. Jesus is the only person. Okay, so Jesus is the God only is person. The spirit, the spirit, the Holy Spirit is a spirit. Jesus is the, the soul person. So the you're telling me Jesus was a human, human being? He's a soul in a body. Was Jesus a human being or not? Yes. Okay. He's was, a person. Can a human being be divine? While he was on earth, Jesus emptied himself of his divinity. That's uh, what. That doesn't answer the question. Can a human being but be divine? Yes or no? When Please. he was exalted, he would became divine and sat at the right hand of the Father. Can you, As a human can you please answer? During his ministry, body, at the right hand of the Father, he's preaching why again. do we need a human soul in a body by the Father? To pray for human souls suffering on earth. Are you going to answer my question? Weighed with sin. Weighed Richard, with Richard, are you going to answer the question? With oppression of sin. Are you going to answer my question? That's why he during his coming. during his ministry. That's why this whole Trinity thing, as they call it, had to happen. Richard, so that God could come here. I don't think. I don't think you're answering any of the questions, Richard. Come on. Take it to heaven and pray on your behalf. It's not the church, including Muslims. Okay. I don't preach in the church. You? Well, I'm not surprised. Okay. Wait a minute. Why listen, listen you, are you telling me that for the 33 years of Jesus' ministry, he wasn't divine? Or was he divine? He was empty divinity. There's no such thing. That's what he says in Philippians 2. Empty he divinity. He emptied himself. Okay, so he emptied his divinity. No reputation. Okay, so you're telling me that Jesus, before he came to earth, was divine? Yes. During his ministry, he was not divine? Am I right? He said he could do nothing but by the Father. Can you please answer the question? Everything during his ministry, during his ministry, he said that he was uh, a great prophet. Just answer the question. And the, through whom God did many miracles. Richard. He did everything through the Father. Okay. So during he his ministry. He was not omniscient. He was not omnipotent. He was not omnipresent. Okay. He was a man like every man here, every woman here. He was a human soul in so a body. So he was limited. Okay. So after he was, he was limited. limited. Okay. Totally so limited. you're telling God be limited. You're telling me that after his death. He was sinless. No. He's the only sinless human soul. Long time. What do you mean? I heard a lot of rumors. They they said said and they said and death. Victory over Satan. I don't think you want victory to have a talk anyway. How can God Are there any Christians here who want to have a dialogue? How can God be limited? That's where the victory comes in the resurrection. 
and that's where the victory comes for you Muslims. Wait a minute, what, wait a minute, what, what victory is in resurrection? Victory comes for atheists. What, 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 what victory? We accept the resurrection because the power of a human soul going to hell, defeating Satan, defeating a hell, defeating death. Is the no, I don't think. I think he's just preaching this guy. No, 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 and he has no, no. the okay. power so, of an endless life Tom because Cowan, he never Tom, sins. He talks to me for That's an why hour. He yeah, I know he doesn't. He doesn't let you talk. Himself. That's why you can be without sin. Okay, Richard. That's why his no, Richard, wash you clean. No, no, now, sin. now I know why they kicked you out of the church okay. because you can never have a normal dialogue. Okay. Okay. Can you have a di normal dialogue or shall I go away? All right. Which one? Then we'll have a normal dialogue. Okay. So the question is very simple. You are basically telling me that Jesus was divine before he came to earth. Then he lost his divinity, divinity. for 33 years. Yes. And then regained his divinity after resurrection. Yes. Am I right? Yes. Can God ever lose his divinity? In the case of Jesus, yes. Because no, no. Does it make no, sense no, to you? It does it make sense to you that God no, loses his divinity? I believe his father. His father. Okay. So yeah. what does it mean to you, God losing his divinity? Yeah. Okay. Who? Who basically made him lose his divinity? He's asking you, does his father lose his divinity? The father is a true God, you know that, come on. Jesus is not God, you otherwise you're a polytheist. You if you worship Jesus as God, then you're a polytheist. Find everything I Jesus in never here. say he was No, you don't find, you will, you will never, never find there. Jesus claiming to be God there. there. You will never find right. it there. Okay, uh, Hebrews chapter 2, verse 6. Um, after thou hadest for a season made him, the Messiah, lower than the angels, Thou crownest him with honor and glory, and hast set him above the works of thy hands. This is a psalm, it's quoted from Psalms about the Messiah, that he would be made lower than the angels for a season. Where does it say in Psalms? Where does it say that in Psalms? And uh, make sure it is the Messiah and Jesus, okay? Because many times as Christians, what they do is they go to Psalms, and then they say, oh, this is about Jesus. But when you actually open it, when you actually open it, it's got nothing to do with the Messiah. Brother, you got a different Bible. And by the way... I think it's Psalm 16. I didn't write the reference. He doesn't have the right Bible. You know, he doesn't 16. have the King James. Yeah, he has. A, I don't know what the name of this Bible. is. Tyndale. Tyndale. They have you ever him. heard of it? Do you know why they killed him? Because uh, he translated. No, you see the sun go round. You see the sun go round. Goes round. Okay, look here. And once they changed the scripture, they hold on, hold on. He will quote they for you. They burned his Bible. They changed it and then they printed it. And oh, what? So the church okay. gave you the Bible too? You, you know no, what? The church didn't. I got it this from the British no, Library. No, no, listen, no, no. listen, Richard. One... British Library. See that? British no, no. Library. Well, any library Richard, you can find the Bible. Okay, yeah. Read First Corinthians fifteen twenty four. You told yeah, me only on. Sure you told me only on earth. Only on earth. He lost his divinity. Let's see what happens to his divinity. Very important. Important. That's very it's important. a different quote. It's a different quote. Which one are you reading now? That's a different Bible. This is, another this one. This is referring to the Messiah going down to Hades. Okay. To Hades. To, to hell. hell. To hell. <laughs> I foresaw the. You can laugh at me. Are you saying Jesus is going Muslim to hell? Atheist laughing at my. Are you and the Jesus? church. You like you said, they kicked you out. Yeah, but, I, I, but I, I believe what the scripture says. Are, and in Psalm 16, it says, You're selective. I think you are. Your scripture David, reading selective. David said of the Messiah, I foresaw the Lord, Kios, Curios, always before my face. He that is on my right hand, speaking of Messiah, that I should not be moved. Therefore, my heart rejoiced and my tongue exalted. Moreover, my flesh and my sh shall rest in hope. Why does he rest in hope? Because you will not leave his soul in hell neither will you suffer your holy one that's the messiah born of mary what part are you answering yeah. you have made what has no got to, to do with the divinity the of life. <laughs> that is showing that's what has why got to David do with the divinity have hope. you're that's doing it again richard flesh, you said you were going to talk to me hope. you're preaching because again he knew i don't think jesus had gone to hades and what he defeated Where hell is hades? And, he defeated hell defeated hades yeah what does defeating hell mean well it's here it's hell a person thou shalt not How can he defeat hell? Soul in hell i don't understand no thou, neither will thou suffer my holy one so, to see corruption so hell got, is death eternal death so, so how do you defeat death how do you defeat death by being holy and pure but how does that make him but defeat death you are buried and i don't get it how can you are you telling death? me that jesus who's supposed to be god became mortal 
Yes. Died at the hands of his own creation. Yes. Can God die at the hands of his own creation? Yes. What kind of God is that? It's the one who loves you. The one, the one who can't. The one who died for you, Hashim. No, my, that's limited. the God. It's my God doesn't God. die. I don't know about your God. It doesn't work according to your human. So it's limited. Oh, it doesn't work according. Okay. Does it work according to the Bible's wisdom? Yes. The Bible says God is immortal. What do you say? Yes. To understand the Bible. So who died on the cross? You need to understand God. So who died on the cross then? He says limited. So you just told me that God is immortal. Yes, God is. God, the Son. But who died in the cross? Jesus died on the cross. Okay. Jesus God <laughs> look look if God doesn't die then yes. and Jesus died, Jesus died on the cross. no no hold on listen yeah, to this yeah, if God doesn't so die debate with me but you can't frame God according to your view. no I'm using the Bible yeah, I'm not framing yeah, okay. you cannot use God okay let me use the Bible and tell me if it's right or wrong spiritual before we talk. yes spiritual is the Bible very easy to debate. is the Bible spiritual it's very, very, yes, is the Bible spiritual okay very in the Bible in first Timothy yes. wait wait yes. in first Timothy you know, chapter you can laugh you can mock at me I'm not mocking I'm just saying you cannot mock God according to your human by the way have respect I'm quoting the Bible. Yeah. Have respect for the Bible. The Bible also says. Okay. First Timothy 6:16. Wait a minute. Yeah. First Timothy 6:16 says. Oh. Oh. You, know, you know, you know, my human wisdom, regardless, I'm quoting the Bible. But the Bible says yes. spiritual things have to be interpreted spiritually. Yes. So why don't you, why, why don't you both interpret the Bible and tell me what it means? In First Timothy 6:16, can you have respect for the Bible? And let me quote it without you guys interrupting. One minute, please. Okay. One, minute, idea, friend, one, minute, one minute, please. One minute. First Timothy 6.16 yes. clearly states yes. that he alone is immortal, yeah. who lives in unapproachable light, yeah. whom no man hath seen yeah. or can see. Yes. Now, just for your benefit, these are not my words. Yeah. So don't tell me you interpret that as the way you want. I want you both, because you are spiritually discerned. I'm assuming that. Did he say that? I'm assuming that. So I want you to know, what do you understand by the fact that God says, that he alone is immortal. If God alone is immortal, then surely the one who died on the cross cannot be God. Cannot be God. The reason for that is because God clearly says that he doesn't die. He doesn't the term die. immortal means the one who does not experience death. Yes? yes? Someone on the cross experienced death. So from the Father, wait, wait, wait a minute. So from the Father, the Son and the Holy Ghost, who died? Which one? No, Jesus died. Okay, oh, so, yeah. no, from the three who died. From the three. So who was Jesus? Yeah. No, no, Richard, I'm sure okay. she can answer. From the three, who who is God? From the three, who is God? All three. All three. Yes. So which one died? So the three are died of the Jesus. Lord. Is he the second person? Well, Hashim, you know you said earlier you that I didn't let you speak. I'm asking you, you don't know who Jesus from the three. Which one of the three is Jesus? So the second person of Trinity. Who are the other two? Who are the other two? Uh, Hashim. Who's defining? Okay. Who's Look, one of them is. But one of, one of them is mortal. Many faces, many oh my God. One of them died. Yeah, yeah. That means one of them cannot be God. Says who? Because so God why, is immortal. Why, why do you say he cannot be God? You know why? Why? Okay. Why? Wait a minute, Richard. Why? I'll tell you why. why if you be quiet, I'll tell you. Yeah. Okay. Did you hear the first verse that I quoted you to you? Do you remember that? Yeah. What was it? Corinthians. Yeah. What? No, it wasn't was Corinthians. Timothy. What was it? I was not here. You were not listening. You were just here. I, I told you. Okay. So you don't. You were not listening. Tell me again. You were not listening. You. You told you are not mocking. You don't want us to mock. For you to be condescending and say, "Oh, you're intelligent. Tell me." That is condescending. So no, no, wait, wait, wait. If you don't want to be someone, wait a minute. If you want, if you want to be shown respect, please show respect in kindness, well. Yes, I will. I will in a minute. Wait. First Timothy. Wait a minute, Richard. I gave you enough time. You started preaching. First Timothy 6:16. I'll repeat again because you didn't listen. Yes, Sammy, one second. First Timothy 6:16. I'll repeat again. He alone is immortal, who lives. Yes, of course, God, who lives in unapproachable light. Who no man has seen or can see. Yes. What does the term immortal mean? Immortal means somebody who doesn't die. Okay. Doesn't right. human. Good. Very yes. good. Yes. So we know that God is yes. immortal. Yes. God doesn't die. Yes. Good. Yes. Did Jesus die? Yes, he did. Okay. If so he died, God. if he died. But what makes you think was God? God? God. Can I finish? Go. Can I finish? No, Richard. No, no, no. No, Richard. No. No. Don't sideline the woman just because she's a woman. I'm sure she can answer. Okay. No, no, because you challenge me, I don't respond to you. Oh, how many persons are there? How many persons are there? How many? Where in the Bible does it say God is more than one person? Where? Where? Where in the Bible does it say? Where? No, no, who are you to define God? 
No, no, who are you to define? I didn't define. You said there are three persons. Yes, there so are the onus is on you to provide the evidence. Wait a minute. You said there are three persons. One now, guy. Tell me one second. God can have multiple No, no. You said not to define God. I'm asking you. Can you define God? I didn't define it. You did. I'm asking no, but no, I you. We, no, no, don't put it on me. The question is to you. No. Where in the Bible? Where in the Bible does it say there are three persons? Show me. Show me. Either you say you don't know. No, I'm not the one defining. You're the one who defined it. By the way, you know the you know the definition I gave you. Sammy, one, one second, sir. You know the definition I gave you of God? It's what he says. Richard, you're doing it again. No, you're not. You are preaching. You, you said you have a dialogue. Forget her. Forget her. You said you have a dialogue. So you lied to me then. Okay. So now, now the fact is this. Okay, let's let's move here. If you don't want to talk to me, that's fine. What's the matter? You're going away, madam. Madam, hit and run. You see, this is Christianity for you. Hit and run. When Jesus was on the cross, he said, Verily, this day, I can't hear you. Sorry, this guy's shouting. So, anyway, look, Jesus because it is the one who have a dialogue. Ah, okay. 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 Which one? First Corinthians, yes, yes. 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 yes, and here that Christ, yes, that yes. yes. man. And just this man. This guy here doesn't have a dialogue, he just says, Give me by the read it from the Bible. Yeah, go and go and tell him, sure. educate him. He still can't decide. Was in heaven, and his soul was in Hades. That's how he could say to the thing. No, I should just, honestly, I don't. Yeah, I think we should just wrap it up. Yeah, read it, Phil. Yeah, I know that by heart, bro. Read it, Phil. Make him hear. Read it, Phil. He would not let me answer. Richard, That's why he uh, Richard, you said you were going to have a dialogue. He would not let me. I gave you ample opportunity. He did not give me an opportunity. I gave you ample opportunity. No, you didn't. Do you want to come down, sir? How come the Roman? <laughs> what happened? I should answer now. The Roman had one. Yeah, but you won't let him. Richard won't let him. Please. The Roman killed his God. Uh, okay, what do you say? Bye bye, Richard. Thank you very much. No, no, that's fine. You can talk, sure. If he wants to go, that's fine. Okay, what is it? Yeah, go on. Is this a five minute argument or a 15 minute argument? No, one hour argument. I paid for a 15 minute argument. Struggle. You paid the wrong person, I think. So, uh, <laughs> who, do, who did you pay? <laughs> I would ask for your money back. Oh. Did you pay Jesus? <laughs> what is it? No, come on. You've been preaching all along. Okay, wrong place. Okay, have you got a question, sir? You never answered. Put the question again. No, leave him, leave him. I'll, I'll speak to this gentleman if he wants to speak. Sammy, let him go, let him go, that's fine. Yeah, I know, he's busy. Keep shouting, you know. You can't, you can't convince people to shout. That's true, yeah. That's true. We don't want to shout yeah, unnecessarily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He what? raises his voice for other people. Then. What is your question? Uh, I'm looking for, is this a five minute argument or a 15 minute argument? Whatever you want, sir. Whatever you paid for. No, I paid for 15 minute Good. argument. Maybe you'll get your 15 minutes. Maybe but one hour, two hours, hour, don't worry. Okay, are you? If I have my 15 minute book argument, le 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 you have to keep quiet or give me $15. Sure. Me? I'm not an American. I don't use dollars. <laughs> you fool me. No, no, no. I, I don't use the dollar. I use a pound. Money. How do you know it's American dollars? I'm British. <laughs> I use a pound. Okay. Okay. Strong guy. All right. 15 pounds, 15, 15 minutes. That's fine. Okay. Carry on. Carry on. Ask your question, Brian. Uh, yeah. You know something? I'm too busy right now. Right? I'll, I'll talk to you later. No oh, problem. <laughs> thank you for coming. That's why I said you should ask for a refund for I your money. Good time. Because, look, at the end of the day, we just asked that gentleman over there to prove to us that Jesus is divine. He would never just like he's divine. Just just like the father is divine you see you cannot have two masters you cannot have two gods and you cannot have two divine beings at the same time throughout the bible we see only jesus submitting to whom to god almighty you never see the father submitting to anyone yes you never see you never see anyone that the father submits to brother it is always the father who is in charge brother to be divine yeah. is to be pure it's, it's to be pure. Only God can be divine. Yes, that's why. So that's Jesus, what I'm telling. Yeah. If Jesus was divine, why would he eat food? Why would he drink water? Why would he want to sleep? Yeah. Why would he want to walk around? Why would he was disappear for 14 years? Or more important, why did he worship? Was why Jesus did he worship? Sinless. Exactly. Why, why did he was sinless? Huh? Who was Jesus? If Jesus is sinless, Jesus. what does it mean? It was, yeah. It means pure. Yeah, but if he's pure, what does it mean? Does it make him God? Yeah. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't exactly. Because that was the main argument. The main argument wasn't whether he was sinless or whether he's pure or whether he's... Even a prophet was pure. Any prophet yeah. doesn't make him God. Everyone has said... Yeah, yeah, but if a God... Look, if they are pure... Who said that? Huh? Every prophet has said the prophet. Yeah. Jesus. 
Say again? Depends. Which one? Which one? Depends. If the, if, if the apocrypha agrees, no, I don't agree. I believe all the prophets are saying this. Every prophet is sinless, including Jesus. Yes. So it's not just Jesus. There are four apocryphas. And sinless doesn't make you God. If you go to the British Library, I'm not saying go to the British Library and read the subscription text. Okay, so, anyway. I will tell you about the apocrypha. We need, we need uh, to have some uh, have a proper four. dialogue. Yeah. All right, let me, yeah, let me wrap it up here. Yeah. Come this way. I don't know, I don't think... I don't think Richard was ready today to have a dialogue. Because, you know, if they keep insisting that they don't believe in the Trinity, yes? Yet, they start saying Jesus is divine, the Holy Spirit is divine, and the Father is divine. To me, that is just a cop-out. You still believe in the Trinity, you just don't want to call it Trinity. You can call it a Godhead, you can call it whatever name you want. At the end of the day, if you do not acknowledge the true God, like the way Jesus did in John 17, 3, when he said to the Father, you are the only true God, then you are blaspheming against God Almighty by worshipping other people as God, by calling uh, other people and referring to them, referring to those people as God. You cannot do that. That is going against what God had taught us what God has taught his, um, his his own prophets Jesus says if you love me follow my teaching yes John 12 John 14 so on how can you follow Jesus how can you say you love Jesus when you do not follow his teachings his teaching in John 17 3 clearly states that there is only one who is the only true God and that is the father so you clearly are going against the teaching of Jesus and hence you do not love Jesus Christ so please be careful whom do you whom you worship as God Almighty. Be careful. You do not start becoming an antichrist by going against Jesus Christ, by going against his teaching. His teachings were very clear. Whom you should worship. Jesus prayed with his head on the floor to his God. And that was only the Father, nobody else. It was in the Trinity. That is something that the church concocted in the fourth century. Yes, in the Council of Constantinople and Council of Nicaea and all these other councils. Why did the church take 400, 300 or 400 years to establish the core doctrine? The core doctrine of Christianity took 300 years to establish. One minute, yes. So what I'm saying is this. If Jesus Christ, his teaching is something you do not abide by and you abide by the teaching of the church, then you love the church, you don't love Jesus. You're going against Jesus' teaching. And hence, that proves that you do not love him. Because Jesus says, anybody who loves me, follows my teaching. The fact that the Christians, I would rather call them Trinitarians, and those people who follow Paul, yes, and not Jesus Christ, they have nothing to do with the teachings of Jesus Christ. The true teachings of Jesus Christ only pointed to one thing, to pray to one entity, and that is his God. Yes, which the Jews at that time called or referred to as Father. Jesus said, I have not yet ascended to my father. I, I go to my father and your father, my God and your God. A clear cut statement from Jesus Christ telling you that the father that you guys worship is not only my father, is but also the father of all the believers. And that father is also my God, means Jesus is God and he's also the God of the believers. If that is the case, then you have to submit to the teachings of Jesus Christ to the will of the Father and not the will of anybody else, not the will of the church in particular, but you should abide by the teachings of Jesus and the will of the Father to believe in the one true God and that is the God of Jesus Christ. Okay? Because you see, in the Old Testament, when God the Father, when God wanted to claim that he was God, he did not beat around the bush. He says, I am the God. Thou shalt have no other gods besides me. Thou shalt have no other gods before me or after me. Very clear. The same message in the Quran as well. Allah says he is the only God and there is no other God besides him. Very similar wording as you can see in the Old Testament and in the New Testament. When Jesus says, I go to my God and your God. Yes, my father and your father again. This is exactly what Jesus was saying when you, when, when you see in the Quran. He was addressing a very similar, he was making a very similar statement. Yes, my God and your God. He was calling people to worship the one true God. Just like Moses called people to worship the one true God. Just like Abraham called people to worship one true God. Just like Jesus himself called to the worship of one true God. Just like the last messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa And peace be upon all the prophets. All the true prophets of God. 
they all advocated the worship of one true God and that one true God is not tri-person, it's not three persons, but it's one entity, one person, and that is it, a universal God, not the tri-person like the church wants you to believe in. So my dear Christians, yes, brothers and sisters in Christianity, yes, please acknowledge the teaching of Jesus Christ to worship the only true God, as it says in John 7 and 3, not a tri-personal God, but a universal God. And inshallah, God willing, you will have eternal life if you abide by the teachings of the prophets, the true prophets. None of them advocated a tri-personal God. In fact, not even Jesus Christ or his disciples or his apostles ever advocated a trinity or a triune God. This is, like I said, came 300 years after Jesus. Something that the church concocted. Not something that any of these disciples or apostles or Jesus Christ or any of the prophets, either of the Old Testament or the Jewish prophets or the non-Jewish prophets, none of them told you to come and worship a tri-personal God. This clearly is blaspheming the true God, the one and only true God. Yes, and with this, I conclude. Jazakallah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Peace be upon all of you, inshallah. Brothers and sisters, Allahu Akbar. Thanks to your tremendous support, we have, alhamdulillah, paid the final installment for this huge masjid property. And now we need your support to convert this 2,700 square meters building into the most amazing Islamic center in the country of Norway, inshallah. But bro, this does not look like a masjid. It looks like a wedding hall. And that's exactly what this is, brothers and sisters. We need your support to reconstruct this wedding hall into a masjid and community center so we can have our prayer hall for us to establish salah five times a day, an indoor playground for the kids to nurture love for the house of Allah, a conference hall for lectures and reminders about Islam. We need classrooms for education, a library to study, a gym for exercise and a soup kitchen to help the poor and needy. If you support us, even with a small sadaqah, you will inshallah harvest a reward for all of these facilities and the khayr that they generate throughout the years, all the way until the day we meet Allah. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, whoever builds a masjid for the sake of Allah, Allah will build for him a similar house in Jannah. So what are you waiting for? Click the button to donate and share the video for extra rewards.